Moths and spiders, people. Moths and spiders. Hello, my lovely monsters. I am Foss of the Silver Chimera, and I realized that I never made a Wishkeeper build for Hunter. So, let's get to it. Part one, the weapon. Like I said, we're using the exotic strand bow, the Wishkeeper. This comes with the exotic perk, Snare Weaver. Precision hits and final blows build energy towards a Snare Weaver arrow that can be fired from the hip. On impact, Snare Weaver arrows create a pattern of traps that suspend nearby targets. Basically, you shoot the ground, leave them hanging. It's good times. The second perk is Silkbound Slayer. This weapon deals bonus damage to suspended targets, gains faster trial time for a short duration when you suspend a target from any source or damage a suspended target with this weapon. So when they're strung up, you hit them harder. Finally, we have the exotic catalyst. Now this is a craftable weapon and it comes with several different catalysts. I suggest you choose with whatever you like, but personally, I like Hatchling because it adds to the mayhem that is to come. Trust me, you're gonna love this. Part two, the armor. We're using the exotic Hunter Gauntlet's Moth Keeper's Wraps. These come with the exotic perk Winged Eclipse. Your grenade becomes a cage of loyal moths that release on impact and fly towards the nearest target or ally. If they reach a target, they detonate in a blinding explosion. If they reach an ally, the moths grant your ally a void overshield. These are very popular and very powerful. They can counter unstoppable champions because of the blinding explosion, and they can keep you alive because of the overshields. Plus, I think they look pretty neat. Part three. The class and mods. We're on the Threadrunner, of course, and I would recommend Marksman Dodge and the Grapple Grenade because they have a shorter cooldown. The first aspect we're using is Ensnaring Slam. Activate your air move to consume your class ability energy and dive to the ground, suspending all nearby targets on impact. Using this ability extends your class ability cooldown timer. This aspect lets us suspend targets, which synergizes with our bow. It's also really fun to drop on bitches like you're the main character. The second aspect is Widow's Silk. You have an additional grenade charge. This is for our exotic armor. With this, we have even more moths to hurl at some poor sons of bitches. So that means more explosions and more overshields if you want. Not to mention, you get like three grenades, it's crazy. Moving over to the fragments, the first is Thread of Wisdom. Defeating suspended targets creates an orb of power. Orbs are always useful, whether that be for energy or for mods in your build. And with the bow, plus our aspect and ensnaring slam, I just thought it was a good pick. Next up is Thread of Mind. Defeating suspended targets grants class ability energy. This lets us use ensnaring slam more often, which is a good thing. Next is Thread of Continuity. Suspend, unravel, and sever effects applied to targets have an increased duration. This build taps into all of the subclass verbs in one way or another, so I thought it was useful to boost their uptime. Finally, we have the Thread of Generation. Dealing damage generates grenade energy. We're gonna be using grenades a lot, like a lot, a lot. And you're gonna be doing damage almost constantly in one way or another. So this fragment was kind of a no brainer if you ask me. Moving to the artifact mods, the main duo is Unraveling Orbs and Horde Shuttle due to our strand bow. Dragon's Bite is also a good choice since it can suspend enemies on a shield break. And don't forget about bows being unstoppable this season. So that works with Wishkeeper. But we already have a few ways to deal with unstoppable champions. So if you want to use Wishkeeper as an anti-barrier weapon due to Unraveling Rounds, that's an option, but I recommend being mindful with your positioning, keeping an eye on your orbs and the timer. As far as the other mods, use whatever fits your playstyle. Moving to our armor mods, on the head, I recommend Ashes to Asset for more super energy and whatever siphon mod you want. On the arms, firepower to make orbs for our little moth friends, impact induction and momentum transfer for more ability regen. On our chest, I like a couple of charged up mods to increase my stacks of armor charge. On the legs, I rock two strand surge mods to boost up the bow and any other strand weapons you might be using at the time. And if you want, you can throw on a recuperation mod for more health. On our cloak, you want time dilation to extend the time of our surge mods and powerful attraction to slurp up orbs. And you can add a distribution for more ability energy. With all these pieces working together, you get a build that is very fun and flows beautifully. You string up your enemies, then unleash your moths to feed on their helpless bodies. Unstoppable stand no chance against you. And the overshields can let you be aggressive. It's a symbiotic dream come true, if you ask me. But we have to talk about the most important thing in a Destiny build. Part four, fashion. This is the outfit, and I dig it. I'm using some of the seasonal armor and the copper tone patina shader. It made this outfit have a dark tribalistic feel due to the exotic arms, like a shadowy druid hiding just out of sight, waiting for the right moment to pounce and entangle its prey. It's dark, but elegant, 
stunning. Kind of like the build, if you think about it. Henceforth, this build will be known as Eclipse Weaver because you descend on your enemies like the shadows cast in moonlight, ensnare them with your web of wishes, blind them with the brilliance of your moths, and banish them to darkness. So that's the build. Talk to me in the comments below. Tell me your thoughts. Do you like the build? Do you like the outfit? I'm all ears. Make your voices heard. If you don't know what to say, how about lamp? Because moths. If you want to see more of my builds, check out my playlist here. And of course, be prepared for even more fun builds in the future. If you could do me a favor, promise the subscribe button that you're going to do that thing for its birthday. You know, its favorite thing. You know what I'm talking about. It's that thing that you do with your hips in a fishbowl, but don't actually do it. Does that make sense? Well, I got stuff and things, so I got to head out. I am Foss of the Silver Chimera. Thank you for checking out my video. Thank you for sharing your time with me. It's an absolute honor. Have a good day, and I'll see all of you beautiful monsters next time. <laughs>